Hey everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Welcome to the Coins Kid crew. Okay, so right now there's a big, big competition on Bybit. Um, I would like you to get involved if you can. You know, co come and join the crew. Come and join the Coins Kid crew. Okay, it's a it's a team on Bybit, and there's a massive trading competition. The the total prize pool is eight million dollars here. Okay, and you know the top ten of the crews get to to take a share of that pot. It's going to be really interesting. I'm recruiting some really good traders into the crew. So it's great if we can all get involved in this, right, and win it as a community. That would be absolutely amazing so this is going to be the intro for the next few days on the video because i just want to try and get you into the crew so we can build an amazing team here okay for this particular competition because it would be so cool if we win it as a community here the link to this competition and to get involved is in each and every single video description so looking at VeChain on the monthly time frame, this is why I will say it's good to zoom out. A lot of people get bogged down with the current time frame, like hour, four hour, trying to predict where it's going to go long term. This is why you have to zoom out. Okay, if in doubt, zoom out. I've told you that a million times. So what I think you've got here uh, is a, a, an impulsive wave one, a corrective wave two, an impulsive wave three, and right now you're going through an ABC zigzag wave four that low ball out. Hopefully over the next sort of few weeks, a couple of months here, will be amazing. At that point, you've got an impulsive wave to the upside. So you know, I wish I could tell you conclusively you can do this, or you know, you're going to do this. And go into space or do this or do that or whatever but we will cross that bridge when we come to it i will be looking at an impulsive move to the upside once this bottoms in and this abc corrections in okay and, and again there's no guarantees here in the space okay it is what it is support and resistance so right now i think that what you're doing is obviously this is your low just here okay so you're retracing to that low at the moment and what i'm going to do is drop the fibs on there to see your retracement levels uh, that you're going through so you can see you've really literally found support on the 702 fib at the moment okay so that's fantastic you know that's a really really strong area of support that you found support in the moment and you can see the 786 just there would be your next level of support if you do start to come down that would be a major level of support from in the 786 and it is this high here you see this high as long as you don't start closing below that on the monthly time frame you're still in this one two three and potential wave four correction with this five it's when you start coming down and you start to lose this high here and start to close below this you're coming down so where is that level at the moment you've got the 786 on 0 0.01885 so that's a major level of support for me if there is a correction in the week which is looking very likely for v chain you start to come down that would be a really really strong area of support for me where i do think you'll see a big bounce for v chain going forward okay and it needs to hold that to, to validate this um elliot wave theory that we're looking at so let's take a look at a larger fib retracement from this corona dump low okay an impulsive move and right now on the macro time frame you're looking at a big abc correction coming back to this low okay you're retracing basically that's normal so you've equally got the 050 fib here look at the support on the 0382 you held it for a few months you lost it and you're coming down you can see you've not tested the 050 it's 0 0.0232 so if it fails to actually come down to that 786 that i've shown you which is a retracement from this low from this high sorry and you're currently retracing to this low if it fails to meet that then that is your target just there for me that's a minimal target do you understand i think that that target is gearing up for a retest and you can see it's just above that high just there do you see that so that is a very very strong support target for me at the moment and that is 0 0.2 3 2 3 3 7 3 you know so at that point if that holds fantastic and like i said to you things don't go down forever and things don't go up forever you know when you were taking off into space here look for support taking off into space here you're getting the support you come up you made a lower high so you're rolling essentially coming back for support nasty as it is all you're doing is coming back for support and it, when, once you get that support you start to come back up the stairs everyone's scratching the red but the market's move impulsively correctively impulsively correctively impulsively okay but again there's no guarantees okay but I think we could be in for a fantastic time leading into sort of 2022 and you know I wish I was making videos for you down there on the retest of that 20 because I'll be telling you at that point you're looking at impulsive break okay and it came and right now I will be saying I'm saying exactly the same as I would have down here you're looking at impulsive break providing this support can hold moving uh, forward for VeChain especially this high here this is a very very important level of support if you do start to see VeChain coming down below that that's extremely negative going forward okay for VeChain so good luck everybody I wish everybody the most looking world but uh, again i remind you of that 050 fib there 0 0.02 three two three three seven that's a major level of support for me for v chain going forward and you know if we, if we do start to roll next week boom that could be a really really strong area to, of support moving forward um, my projection going forward if that is the case what we're going to do is drop the the fibs on that level just there if we find that low then you could say okay we're, we're minimal target is a one three two there 
probably get a little bit over extension as we start to come back up here and everyone gets a bit foamy and the markets might go parabolic my minimal target would be the 1272 it's 55 cents which is a whopper you know from there to there that's a, a whopper of 2289 percent the 1414 is 3364 percent the 1618 is 5485 percent good luck everyone but remember remember please remember let me drop the weekly time frame on here you really, really are extended from the EMAs to 20 EMA. You've not back tested it in months. So that test is definitely on the cards. And one thing I want to show you that once V chain bottoms out after a correction, it breaks out quite impulsively. Okay, it can really, really move some. Look at that, the retest of these resistances. It really, really does move quite violently uh, for V chain. But again, no guarantees. Good luck, everyone. Take care. Back to another update on V chain. Stay off, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye bye.